One of the things that we talk about often here is that students come in here as kids and they leave here as young adults. Our hope and our prayer here is that we help encourage those students to be able to um, take that Christian perspective in the world very seriously and take it on to the next level. I think diversity is a good thing and I think I think there's diversity here but also there's definitely a big sense of family here because I mean like I said not only is this school a family but we're the body of Christ. I was really shocked to see you know all the teachers and students come to the family hour to my dad's funeral and send cards and plants and call and see how my mom and I were doing and when I got back from school you know all the support from students who I had never even talked to like they didn't have to do that but that shows that they're caring that this school truly is a community. One of the things that I really appreciate about the community here at Grand Rapids Christian is that there's a definite strive for excellence in everything that they do. From the classroom to sports to band, every aspect is really um, focused on doing it well and using the gifts that God has given to the, His glory. But there's also a balance that I don't see in other places where people don't lose focus of what's really important, that they don't become overly obsessed with being great at this at the expense of having good character and being a godly person. I love to teach and I guess that's why I'm at this school because um, the school allows for opportunities to uh, share the things that you really love and that you have a passion about. The teachers take a genuine concern of our lives and it's almost like they're not just people that we see from 745 to you know, 240, but they're at our games, you know, they're supporting their students inside and outside of school. I still go back to old teachers' rooms and they're friendly and it's just, I don't know, it's definitely what you make of it, but they're, they're definitely there for you. Like, you can talk to them about things other than school like they're open to that and stuff and I've had several teachers who I have opened up to and stuff and that's just been a really nice part of high school knowing that you have your friends, your peers and your teachers who you can talk to and they both support you and stuff. My favorite thing about the school is that excellence is expected on all levels. So in some schools you might just have sports is expected to be excellent. At this school it seems like anything um, that is excellent gains uh, respect and admiration of all the student body because you can be the lead role in the musical, uh, you could um, you know, be the guy that dunks the basketball, you can have the, be the great painter and all those things are really admired by the students and the staff. If you come here as a student, you can expect that you will be challenged. But always with the perspective that we see you as an individual and that we want you to do the very best that you can possibly do. In my four years here, I've been pushed to kind of push to do my best, um, you know, with homework and tests. And now as I'm looking to the future and I talk to my brother and the other guys that have graduated, you know, they've all said, that the standards here um, have really come in handy once, once they moved on to college. I love my job, and I'm not just saying that. Um, I get up in the morning, I'm ready to come to work, and I really look forward to coming here. Um, students come to the art class ready to work. They have a lot of talent, a lot of training throughout the program. Um, we also get a lot of backing from the school system as far as this beautiful room we have. Um, we have a lot of resources at our fingertips and I have a very easy job in some ways to teach here.
my assistant coach, Ms. Brown. She was kind of like a spiritual mentor for us, and like, um, I think you can find those all around here at Christian High, but for me it was on sports a lot. I found um, that the coaches and my um, teammates would help me a lot in my faith. We had our team meeting, and I guess they have a team meeting every year. And one of our main goals was to dedicate the season to God. That was our first and foremost thing that we wanted to do. And I mean, we have goals like we want to win state, and I mean, it seems important and stuff, but looking back, the most important thing was that it was for God and to glorify Him through our actions. Living as a teenager in this world is also becoming increasingly complex. And so, because I teach at a Christian school, it's a great pleasure and honor to be able to present Christ in that complexity. And it's faith that's not like for some future as you become an adult or a future world that we're going to live in, but it's like really present right now. And that's, I think, to be quite frank, why I teach. I love teaching art, but it's more of like a vehicle or a tool to use to present Christ to kids. Looking back on my years at Christian High, I really see what an investment it was that my parents made in this school and allowing me the chance to be a part of this community. When I look back at the point I was at in my faith, my freshman year, it was definitely something that we did on Sundays. It was more a religion than anything else. And I think that what I learned through different teachers and classes and just being around the community of Christian High was that faith is something that is a part of you. It's something you live. It's something that you don't just do on Sunday, but it exemplifies itself in every aspect of, of your life.